Hello. Today I'd like to talk about the natural planning model. The natural planning model is kind of an unsung hero of the getting things done methodology. It's in the book, chapter three in the book, whole chapter about the natural planning model, but actually quite a lot of people who practice GTD don't know about it or don't remember about it. And I think that's partly because it's not really directly related to the practice of lists and organisation and getting things done that GTD is mainly about. What the natural planning model is, is a framework. And that framework is designed to help us plan in the way that we do intuitively and naturally. Which, when I put it like that, sounds a bit counterintuitive. But actually, we're very good at planning as people. It's very rare that we would say, for example, book a flight to go on holiday without actually deciding where we're going to go first or who we're going to go with. But in work, for some reason, we tend to do things kind of the wrong way around or we tend to miss steps out. So it's we start off on something and we're straight into the Gantt charts and the planning and the um, working out who's going to do what. And it's often only when things start to go wrong that we all go, whoa, 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 whoa. What are we actually trying to achieve here? So the natural planning model gives us a framework to enable consciously that thinking. So the first step in the natural planning model, top layer in the natural planning model, if you like, is purpose and principles. We start with why. Why are we doing this thing? What's going to be different in the world when we've finished? And also, alongside our purposes, we articulate any rules of the game, any non-negotiables, any things that have to be involved in the delivery of this project. So that might be budget, it might be location, it might be people who have to be involved, it might be a certain number of requirements or, or things that are needed to be included in it. The next stage is vision. Now vision is the process of working out what good would look like. We've all heard that phrase, oh yes, but what would good look like? But David Allen takes it a little step further in this, and he talks about wild success. He encourages us to think about, imagine you're at a party, you're celebrating the successful completion of this project, and it's gone really well, you've absolutely nailed it. What does that look like? What's happened? And this is really good for a few reasons. One, it encourages you to, to think big, and it's inspiring. Thinking that something's gone really well and think what that looks like is far better than just, um, it's far more motivating than just thinking about, oh, well, you know, I'll get that out the door. Next thing is that it gives you a finish line. You understand what the world will look like now, practically, when you've completed it. And it starts to get you thinking about your purpose in more tangible terms which is incredibly important for the actual doing thereof. So we've got our purpose and we understand our principles, our rules of the game, and we've got our vision. We understand what good looks like. So we can get started. No, not yet, not yet. Now we need to brainstorm. And again, this is a process that teams often go through when things have started to go wrong. So doing this up front has a lot of really, really good advantages. To start with, you can get other people involved at this point. It's not just in your head. You're not the only person whose shoulders this rests on, and you can start to get other people's inputs. Doing that, you can get more creative ideas. You can start to think about different ways you might accommodate those, those principles or other things that you could pull in in order to make it really wildly successful. But also, you can start to brainstorm what might go wrong. And how do you avoid that happening further down the line? Quite often when we plan things, we sort of assume that everything's going to be okay. And then when something happens that we're not expecting, it really, really throws us. And I think we've all worked on projects where we go, oh, we expected that thing to work. So by um, being able to brainstorm with the people who are going to be working with you, or just or with people who aren't going to be working with you, who just have um, a good imagination and, and uh, common sense, you can really thrash out the stuff that might go wrong in order to help you deal with it. So we've got our purpose. We know why we're doing it. We've got our principles, which are the rules of the game. We know what good looks like. We know what wild success looks like. And we brainstorm all the ideas. 
all the ideas that we might have about this. Now, because it's a brainstorm, not all of these ideas are going to be good ideas. We're not going to do everything that falls out of that brainstorm. At some point, we have to organise. And that's the next level of the natural planning model. So we start to order, we start to put these ideas into some kind of order. This is where you can bust that Microsoft project if that's your bag. This is where you can start making those plans. This is where a lot of people start when they're planning their projects at work. Once you've got organised, then we can ask that great freeing getting things done question. What's my next action? What is the next thing I'm going to do to move towards that wild success? So to recap, we start with our purpose and principles. Why are we doing what we're doing? And what are the rules that we need to play by? Then we imagine what wild success would look like. From there, we can start brainstorming all the ideas, all the what's and why's and wherefores and what could go wrong and what would be brilliant ifs. When we're at that stage, when we've surfaced all of our thoughts about our purpose and vision, then we can start organising them and finally get to our next action. The natural planning model is an unsung hero of the GTD methodology. It's something I find personally really, really useful. It's great for unpicking complex work projects or for making tangible and real those aspirations that we have as people. Thanks very much for joining me and I'll see you soon.